Hello and welcome to the Truck in IS. We are at Lucas Oil Raceway, commonly known as IRP, Indianapolis Raceway Park. We're getting back to it for our first race of the playoffs. And I'm going to put in the setup Daniel made for qualifying here. Thank you so much, as always, to him. Uh, it seems like we've got another great one. And uh, I'm going to need all the help I can get because... I'm not, I'm not too great at this track, <laughs> admittedly. Um, these high-line short tracks are always a real struggle for me, and this is definitely of that variety. Uh, high line's where you want to be, and uh, it's t it's tough out here, so I didn't. I did. Okay. I was like, did I exit the pit safely? I did not. So we're uh, off to a great start, clearly. <laughs> Thankfully, that's not going to do anything to me. But... Uh, Qualify, there we go. Let's try this again. Try to do it correct this time. I just I don't have too much experience here, and the experience I do have has been mediocre at best. So I'm gonna do my best, but I think what I want most out of this race is a, just a nice solid run, try to keep it clean, and get the playoffs started with something that's not a DNF. Would be great. Is that too much to ask? Maybe. We'll find out. Loose out of the corner. Uh, okay-ish. Lap right there. Push a little harder. See if we can do any more. Oh, I really had to fight it there. It wanted to get loose on me. It did get loose on me. I just had to fight it. What do I have out of four? Not as much as I had the first lap. So. Let's see what happened. Right now we're how how are we on the pole right now that's there's no way that's lasting right if this if i got the pole that is a hundred percent daniel's setup because that thing basically drove itself there's no way that's lasting right we should probably is there no one left to go how did that happen that's 100 percent daniel's setup because that is not what I expected. All right, so we'll put the race saddle pin. At the end of the session, pole position. Well done, mate. Uh, I guess we're on the pole. I don't know about that, man. I feel like I said in chat earlier. I feel like I'm gonna hit the wall 400 times tonight. 200 lap race, so that's about two times a lap. Uh, that's my expectation here. Uh, man, I th I think uh they were saying a lot of people maybe. Screw that up so bad, Scott said. Gavin agrees. So it sounds like a lot of people maybe just messed up their laps. Maybe that's how I managed to pull that off somehow. A lot of guys just uh, had some issues. So I guess uh, I guess I'll take it. Only a two-minute warm-up. We'll go ahead and get some laps on the track. And I want to uh, try to pull on to pit road as well. Green flag pit stop, just in case. Like how many people are coming? I'm going to let some guys go here real quick. Okay, there we go. So, the uh, race setup, a little bit looser. But also the sun is going down, so maybe it'll even out. While still giving uh, plenty of turn for long run pace, Daniel said that, to oh my lord, Tried to break loose on me really bad. Uh, Daniel said that uh, tires could be very important. There seems to be a decent bit of fall off. We also are starting with... Wow, the car is really wanting to spin on me. Car outside. V12. Clear. But... He said... Very important to be nice to the tires. Could be big fall off. But we're starting with a, about 75% track state. Because in real life, the ARCA race is before the truck race. So Nick trying to emulate that. Put the track at some uh, usage. Free usage. 
and that makes sense. That could lower the... Oh man, I didn't get to do a pit in. Oh well. Uh, I did get to practice that a little bit, regardless, so... That's alright. We're starting on pole for some reason. I, f um, <laughs> I don't like it. I really don't. I guess it's better than being surrounded by people immediately, but that might happen anyway. I'm nervous, man. I don't like being in this position right in front of the field uh, while I'm not very comfortable at this track. I don't like that concept. Stages are 60 and 120. We'll have to keep that in mind. We can make it quite a ways on fuel. It's looking like it's going to be a single stop race if it goes green. We'll just do halfway. Plain and simple. Uh, probably one on one. Maybe if some guys uh, line up on the inside. Pit road is closed right now. Want to pit exactly on a hundred and slip around a little bit. We're just gonna do second gear, I think. Yeah, it feels good. Two green, so we got a lap to do here. Very strange pit entry. You can see on the left there. Kind of uh, entering turn three is where the pit entry is. But I got some practice in, had a couple successful tries, so hopefully we can do that if necessary. I think there could be lots of contact this race though, because to pass you almost have to do slide jobs in order to do it, and that of course can cause contact. And with how slippery the, the truck can be, it could be dangerous. So I'm going to take it somewhat easy off the start. Not going to overdo it and pull the parachute right in front of anybody or anything, but it could be very slippery. I want to watch out for that. Yeah, I like your paint scheme. Yeah, Gavin has a really cool paint scheme. I said that to him, too. Where do I start here? This is weird. Long ways to go before uh, it's time to go, I guess. That'll do it, I guess. Overdrive. Keep it smooth, all right. Maybe almost overdrove that a little bit, gotta be careful. Oh, it's feeling like it wants to get sideways. Don't want to slide the truck around all night. That's just gonna make things worse and worse if I try if I end up doing that, so. Keep it smooth, keep the truck happy. And we'll have ourselves a good run, probably. Stay out of trouble. That's all I really wanted, was to stay out of trouble. Kind of running a little bit lower than some of the guys behind it looks like. That's fine. Got some space behind right now. I have no idea how to save tires at a place like this, so uh, whatever happens, happens. Theoretically, you just don't drive it as hard, I guess, is the way to do it. And, you know, maybe I'm doing that. <laughs> Hopefully I'm doing that. I'm just trying to be smooth right now and not get the truck sideways or anything, so... Maybe doing what I'm doing now is going to be okay? We'll see. Underdrove the entry of three there. Setup feels great, as always. Like I said, the Q setup felt like it basically drove itself. We got self driving trucks out here at IRP, sitting in the cockpit just eating a pizza watching a movie. It's driving itself, that's what it feels like. 
we got a little bit of a gap. That's encouraging. I think track position could be very important at a place like this with how tough it will likely end up being to pass. And that lap was a 22.4. Still can feel it trying to get sideways from the late middle corner to the exit. But that same pull is what helps me uh, get through the corner pretty quick. So as long as I can balance that, I think we'll be okay. Chuck's hanging on back there, right about 0.5, 0 0.6. Keeping it equal. Second back, the third place. The sunset lighting has messed me up. Sunset lighting. Sun going down, kind of in the eyesight. Not quite as bad as it might be, might look in real life, but it can still get in your eyes. Let's see if it's going to get us, maybe. Round four. I think it's kind of uh, under the horizon by now, though. I don't know where I'm going, I went extra low that time for some reason. I don't know why I did that. It was not intentional. Really got to be careful of the truck potentially snapping on me as I put more and more throttle, or sorry, more and more wheel into it as the truck gets a little bit tighter. That could cause a snap on exit, so I have to be ahead of that. That inevitably starts trying to happen. I can anticipate it, hopefully I can avoid it. This is uh, starting off pretty darn good though. Just done I'm very surprised. I don't think I've ever actually done a truck race at IRP. I've done ARCA races here. Where I was mediocre at best. I didn't have a uh, fast lap time though when I started practicing today for this. So I don't think I've ever done this combo specifically. I guess it's working out. Despite how uncomfortable I was. So 6120 are the stages, still quite a bit of a ways to go. Long, long race. Full length race, of course. The whole idea of the truck in IS. That these are exactly what the real life truck drivers are racing. Same point system. Same race times. Same lap length. Right, no race length. I guess kind of obviously it's going to be the same length of a lap. It's the same track, but, you know. Doing everything from stage points, which is really cool. Really fun idea. Thank you to Nick for starting this season. Very cool to be able to kind of uh, match what the real life guys do. As best we can in our comfy office chairs. We have a 1.3 second lead right now. I'm waiting for the fall off to happen, like all of a sudden my car's deadly tight or something. I'm just waiting for that moment because this is very suspicious right now. This feels like someone coming up to me and being like, hey, you won a million dollars. Just enter your social security number right here. Too good to be true. So I'm sure I'm not going to put it past the fact that I could easily be destroying the tires right now and end up falling back hard later. But for now, okay, Colton, that's good consistency. I can Keep pretend I am feeling good. <laughs> I'll pretend that things are just cheap. Scott, I think, in the second? There's a pass back there, I guess, and... Lost some time. So we're two seconds back now. Seconds. Well, maybe there was a slide job back there, perhaps.
Truck still feels great right now. Still kind of loose middle exit. Maybe a little bit tighter on entry. But still perfectly within reason. I feel like I can balance it just fine. I'm just aiming for the same crease in the track, whatever you want to call it, transition. I'm like aiming for that one on my left, drifting up into that next one, and moving back down to that middle one. The way I decided I was going to do that was actually by watching... Oops. Of course I'm talking about it and I mess up the corner. But the way I kind of figured how to do that was in practice I was watching... Uh, I think it was Scott at the time. All right, Colton. Who uh, then had the best lap. I watched and saw what line he took through there. And from there that's where I knew where I wanted to practice and try to do my race laps. Lap times are pretty consistent, allegedly. I guess that seems true if we're at .01, the last lap pace. Checks out. We got lap traffic coming ahead. Someone doing a wheelie, <laughs> I guess, it looks like. Must have been an internet issue. That looked funny. Oh, okay. Interesting. I just felt extra loose mid-corner right there. That was more loose than I had felt yet. Maybe I just put a little bit too much throttle mid-corner right there. I have to watch out for that, though. The gap to a little uncomfortable. Is now that lap time was 22.9. Okay, that's scary. Less of that would be great. That lap time was 22.9. Car outside. Stand set down. Let's drive in. Here. That's going to slow us down a bit. Your lap time was 23.2. Oh my gosh, he's blinking. I really don't know where he is. Outside, clear. Outside. Clear. Round Michael. That slowed us down, but that's okay. The guys behind will have to do the same thing. That was a uh, 23.2. Halfway to stage one. This is going to be a grueling race. I'm already gripping the wheel tight. So maybe I shouldn't be, right? I mean, learn from my past mistakes. Ease up on the, on the wheel. Loosen my hands up. We're in it for the long run here, so... Let's not uh, cause any personal injury while I'm trying to race. And perhaps. Was that 23.0? It still feels pretty good. Getting a little extra loose, so I'm kind of having to be a little easier on the throttle so as not to get the truck sideways or anything. Well, Chuck has left. Oh man, I wonder what happened. Something must have happened to him because I saw him. Somewhat near the front. In fact, he was in second place for a while, I thought. I wonder what happened. That is very unfortunate.
Frank up there. He'll be the next lap truck we come across. The P16. A bit of a smaller field here today. I don't know if very many people own IRP. I think it was one of the last ovals that I bought. A little bit of a less popular track, maybe. Not in terms of how much people like it, but just frequency on schedules and stuff. The Cup Series of NASCAR, of course, has never gone here, as far as I know. And if they did, it was probably a while ago. I don't even know when this place was opened, because I don't know much about this place. To be quite honest. But judging by the amount of seating and such, I don't think the Cup Series has gone in here. So less people uh, incentivized to buy it, I guess, if it's not going to be on any of the official cup schedules on iRacing. You've just done a 23.0. Drink up there by the wall. See if he moves low for us, or if we'll uh, just cut down low, kind of like we did with a couple of the guys earlier. Incredible race so far. I thought we could definitely see some wrecks and things. You've just done a but so far, all green. Looks like he's going low for me. That's much appreciated. Thank you. I appreciate it. That loses of time. So I want to show that I'm thankful. Say that I'm that I really appreciate that because I know he loses time moving down low. That didn't make it much easier. So that was very kind of him to do. One point nine back to Scott. Yeah, Scott, go ahead. Last lap was at twenty three point one. Whoa, I almost got the wall there. I didn't mean to block you there, that was my bad. Keep it together. Keep it smooth. And there's a yellow. Not what I wanted to see. Only three sets of tires. You gotta take it now though, that was a pretty long run. Oh shoot. Also can't hear you, Scott. Car, car sideways, middle one and two, look out. I guess we're pitting right now. Watch your speed limit in the pits. The pit Got a pit after a 42 lap run, I think. We'll need to stop again. Can't make it on fuel, but the tires are much too old, I think. Did not take them. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Especially because Daniel said how much tire fall off can happen. 86, 89. Is that two tires? Okay, punch it. It's like maybe some two tire call. Line up, single file. Catch that one. Looking at other people's tires. Here's to see what they had. Generally just less used than mine, so who knows if that went to a hundred maybe that I would have been hurting. Seventeen. Cannot make it to the end. Full course yellow. It's our open. We can, however, make it to lap 120 now for stage two, which is cool. Definitely happy I uh, made this choice. Although with the caution laps, maybe could have made it anyway. So a couple people staying out. Understandable, I think. How tough it is to pass, and we only had three sets of tires. Could be a strategy play. I think James maybe took two. Maybe Scott took two as well. What's our left side's looking like? 96, 97. That's interesting. With how green that went, though, I'm feeling pretty confident we could go very long again. 
So I, I like to have the fresh tires. I'm curious what other people are uh, are thinking. Gavin's gonna be in the lead. See how fast he'll be able to go. 86, 89 is not terrible, and everyone else was better than I was on tire. So he might not be too off pace. Pits are open. Never know. One lap to green. You're on the outside okay, this time. Get ready. Race the regime at the end of this lap. All right. Hopefully it stays clean. That's all I really wanted was a nice clean finish. I got to remember my my goals here. Keep them realistic. Don't get myself into a wreck. About to go green. Gavin checking go his go. ability to throttle right, up. Oh my gosh, P2 did not go at all. Outside. Had to be very careful there. Stay low. Clear outside if you want it. Clear of him. Oh no. Sorry, Scott. Got very loose on the inside. Inside. Still there, inside. These starts are quite Still scary. There. Here it seems. Still there, inside. Clear inside. You're now in third. Gotta get used to how the car feels on fresh tires as well. It does feel quite different. Okay, we're able to get around Gavin. I think he might have lifted off for me a little bit. The Nick car's the leader. Can we catch up to Cade now? I'm not sure what his tire situation okay, is. But I would really like to win a stage for once. I've won one stage this whole entire season. All these races we've done. Won one stage. And, uh... The guy ahead of me is the reason why I finished second a couple of times. So, maybe it might be the case again here. We'll see. I'm gonna try, though. I'm gonna try to go for it. Sideways, that's not what I want. Ugh. P2, your lap time was 22.4. That lap time was 22.4. Really focused. Stinks. It really felt like that stage was going to be mine if we didn't get a caution. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back there. We got five laps to do it. 
and then passing is going to be a whole different ball game. Thanks, Dan. I don't think I can do it. He's just as fast as I am right now. That does not lend well to being able to get around somebody. I'm going to finish second to him in a stage again. It's just too good. It's just too good, I tell you. I don't know if he took... I don't know how he got out ahead of me. Is he on old tires? Is he on two tires? I'm not sure what it is. It really doesn't matter though, because the fact is, he's P1 and I'm P2. You've just done a 22.6. Okay, Colton, that time's pretty consistent. Cannot get enough of a drive off or anything. Trying, I'm trying too hard, is what I'm doing. Yeah. Pushing there just made me slower, so not gonna happen. Dang it. Just can't win any stages, man. Or races, for that matter, in this series. Oh well. Well, we can back it down a little bit now and worry about the long run. I would say at least we got good stage points, which is true, but I kind of need to start getting championship points, or playoff points rather, since we're in the, you know, these things called the playoffs. It'd be nice to have some of those points, but not going to happen here as long as Cabe plays the better strategy. I guess he must have taken two tires or something, or maybe he just had a really good stop. I have no idea. Keep it smooth. Truck feels kind of loose, so I'm going to try to be nice with the right rear for a while. Pushed a little bit more whenever I was uh, trying to catch him. So it will be easier for a little bit. That lap time was 22.9. Inside. Clear. I think I really benefited that first run from uh, having the track position. Sorry, Dad. You've just done a twenty-three point zero. I'm worried. It feels like the truck's much looser this run already. Pushing it hard early might have been bad. It just feels like there's less grip this time around. That lap was at 23.0. Time 
right on him, but this feels like I'm equal to him. It doesn't feel like I'm actually making any gains. Kind of did mid corner there, but at the expense of uh, run off. Trying to focus. It takes a lot even just to keep up with them here. You've just done a 22.8. It's a little bit higher up the track there. It's going to get a plenty good runoff though. Truck doing wheelies up ahead. <laughs> Lap truck. Loose mid corner. Your lap time was twenty three point zero. I really want to know what he did with his tires. Because whatever he did is working just fine. Seventy-five laps down. That's good consistency. Keep it up. That lap was Only twenty-five to go. Zero. I guess. I liked it when I was leading. I preferred that. Now I'm getting loose on the seams. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Seams. I'm saying grease. <laughs> I always forget the word seam for some reason. Steam reason. Man, I don't know. How does anyone beat Cabe? Is that even possible? I mean, it's happened before, but maybe I should have paid attention now that other people did it. I haven't figured out how to do it yet. Not for a win. Figure out that winning thing in general. That's this track. Now what do we do? Yeah, right. Minus 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 As you get about 117 laps of fuel, maybe you can. Just not quite. That was a tough decision. Don't think you can make it to the end if you pit now, though. Maybe some guys think you can. I'm undecided. Just gonna take the track position for now, though. Uh, I don't know. You don't have very much time to think about it. Let's get to the pit road so quickly. Yeah, I'm in seven seven. Maybe we can make it. Mm. 
gonna save a set though. Save a set of tires. We're not even halfway through this thing. I took a set earlier, so. Scott says two tires was not the play. I'm curious what Kid did. Oh man, I just got trapped by the pace car by like a millisecond. Oh, that sucks. Scott, it depends. What team did you take? It's all right, boy. What did Gabe say? What'd you say, Cabe? I didn't hear. I didn't know if you were talking to me or not. Pit road is closed right now. Out. It's you know, it's closed. Scott, depends on what team you took. Did you take front? Uh -huh. Take a left rear? Left front? What you... I'm curious what you did. Four and get lucky on the restart. You're, like, on the half every lap, so. Uh, I see. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that reset. Back to Cape. I got trapped here by, like, a millisecond and the pits were open. The exit was open, so I'm assuming it's going to make me go back behind everybody. One nope, you're going to line up on the outside and get the yeah, pay to go. Scott, you're right. I was iffy about it. I was going to go back and look. Right no problem. Yeah, yep, never mind. <laughs> Alright, we're going to test uh, the launch here in a second. I hate starting P2. I just wanted to do whatever was best for everybody else. Hey, Gary's off. See him at all. Green, 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 green. Keep is now open. I wanted to see if I could stay on his outside, but not quite. Less turn than I was hoping. Corner. Well, now what's going to happen? We got some people back there that took tires. Are they going to come flying up here? No idea. Readjust to how this truck feels. Get into the rhythm again. Well, when are we going to pit, then? Because we can't make it to the end. Hopefully the other people can't make it to the end. But I guess we'll see. Guess about lap 140, right? 35, maybe 135. Yeah, he's uh, driving away from me at the moment. He 
He's just making the most out of his corners better than I am, it looks like. He's really pushing it and okay, Colton. That's good consistency. using up all the track space, and I'm just not quite doing that. My car while on fresher tires is coming up. Okay, it's not. Inside. Keep high. Clear. Is it gonna fly past us? Inside. Stay high. Keep high. Clear. Maybe I should have come in, I don't know. They're down to one set of tires, however. I could really bite them later. Still not even halfway through the race, so... I don't know. Sliding through the corner. Ooh, got a little loose on entry there. That was a little scary. Make a habit out of that. Interesting how the strategies are playing out. That lap time was 23.1. The truck has gotten tougher to drive as time has gone on, I feel like. It just feels less stable because of the changing temperatures, baby. Not even necessarily tight or loose, specifically. Like It feels like maybe just a touch tighter on entry. Just looser mid and through exit. Second plus behind us. That's to Gavin. I wonder if he pit during that last one. I have to open race labs this time, so I can't see one guy's pit, for example. So I can't see if he uh, if he pit this time. It's coming up on us like he did pit, so I'm thinking he did. Hope they can't make it to the end. I assumed we wouldn't be able to make it to the end. I hope I'm not sorely mistaken. Just now, past halfway. Evan's gonna be coming up on us, going around. have much problem I don't think. We'll have lots more grip. Car inside. 
suppose. I almost got on the wall. Games back there must be on uh, tires, maybe. an adapter of this strategy. Yeah, I'm gonna be going around Abe here. Oh yeah, exit. Goes. Still got working on it though. It's kind of slowing Cape down a little. I don't think I can catch him though. He's been getting away from me. Just got the wall again. B5. Got a little bit too low, that got me loose. You've just done a 23.2. Uh, 23.2 Feels like I can never take a break this whole race. So I've constantly got to be uh, driving this thing on the edge. Hard work here. Handling's going away. Gavin's up in the wall up there. We pit after the stage? Maybe. Last time we got tired of lap 42. Yeah, I think we pit right after the stage. Falling apart too. I'm gonna need those tires. That was a uh, 23.3. James catching up to us. He's about half a second back. Sounds like maybe that higher lands in right now. Maybe that's where I want to be running. I'm going to finish the stage and come into pit, I think. Got 
Gotta hope for no caution, but... That lap was a 23.2. Not much else we can do. shifting. Yeah, it didn't work. Wanted to try it though. Felt like I was going real th slow through the big corner, so thought I'd give it a try. Really like to hold James off until the end of the stage. No problem, man. Alright, final lap of stage two. get P5 in this stage. So, P2, P5 in the stages. Like the pit now, but now is not a good time with Frank on the inside down there. Should be able to get away with pitting silently. Cable see it, but all right, Colton, you're gaining on this car. The gap is 0.6. We're coming in. We'll need to stop again. No, we don't. <laughs> we don't need to stop again. That is a blasphemous lie. Don't listen to him. Five, three, two, one. Right here. 71.75 We'll see. We'll see how this goes. We're done. Get going. We only have one car left remaining. The penalty on track it looks like. Gonna be going very, very fast for a while. Compared to the other guys. Gonna have to be careful, especially with the wheelie guys. Oh, okay, he's pitting. Good timing there. We're in lucky dog position, I apparently. I don't know if I believe that or not, but close we were. Outside. Clear high. Outside. Outside. Clear high. Not sure if that's the fastest way around, but it's what I did. I'm on the low side at wherever this place is, IRP. <laughs> I'm at Irwindale. Running the low line. I'm sorry, that just snapped on me. Pass 
Damn it, if I stayed out for two more laps. I was coming in and I was like, I was planning on what I was going to do. But I failed, I don't know why. That sucked. I don't even see Colton Pink and everybody started pitting and I was we were talking about Jeremy Mayfield and Tracy King and he's better than me. Oh, I'll suck it. So I've seen uh, Nick pit, so I'm like, well, we must need to pit. He's doing his uh, the typical thing, he's trying to undercut it, which makes sense because I think we we're all about three laps short. So I did the same thing as him. I saw him hit. Just went for it. Hey, thank goodness it's let me go by the pace car. I freaking did it again under the yellow. Man, I feel so dumb. I got on that flat part on the bottom just trying to get around guys with my fresh tires and it just snapped and there was no saving it. Getter seventy seven, car, getter oh five, So we're going to be a lap down now, if not more. One lap down. I just ruined my own race. See, I told you I was bad at these tracks. <laughs> Didn't look like it at first, but now that's kind of what I expect to do at these tracks, actually. Let it not get confused. The night lighting here is terrible. Four course yellow, pits are open. Yeah, it's really hard to see the line. In the corner, front stretch is lit up nice. Lit up 04, carbine. Lit up 1, carbine. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Well, we'll have to try to get the lucky dog, I guess. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Lit up 99, carbine. Yeah, this must be where we are. So we should be getting a wave around here, right? Yeah, I believe so. So, but I'm not that smart on this. Ah, I just really ruined my race and I messed up the race for other guys too that were pitting. Ugh. Yeah, we got a hot to lean because we're so mad at myself. One left to green. Okay, Colton. Line up on the inside. So we'll try to get the lucky dog, I guess. We'll have to fight Chad for it. To stay out of the uh, other guy's race, too. I just have to hope for another caution, but I don't deserve it. I caused the last caution. Get ready. Going green. The pace car is in. I'm just going to take it easy, try to keep this. Go low. That's what I needed. I'm really sorry, I tried to miss you. We're under caution. It's closed. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car 94. That might as well have been my fault. Man, may as well have been my fault because there wouldn't have been a restart in the first place if not for me. Stinks. 
Lebda 20. Carbide, you had the position when the Let yellow flag came out. Car in front is pitting. I don't deserve it. It's my fault that that uh, happened in the first place because there wouldn't have been a restart without my spin. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Uh, well, we'll be at the end of the longest line. I guess we might as well take the tires and just hope it goes green to the end or something. I don't know, man. What do I do? Nah, we stay out, I think. Hope for a late caution. So we have a set of tires, I guess. I don't know. Oh, boy. Do we take tires? Is we're gonna be at the end of the longest line anyway? No. We need another caution to really be back in it, I think, because we're gonna be behind so many people. Should I go higher or lower to let guys by? I wonder. Oh. I'm just gonna have to let him buy again. Three, car. Because you're the lucky dog, you'll be held at the end of the longest line. Pit road is closed. Lebda 58, carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Well, There's not too many people out here, actually. Are gonna, more, more people gonna be coming? Or we just have not very many people left out here. I guess not too many. It was a shorter field to begin with, and then uh, not all have made it this far. One lap to green. Line up on the inside. Get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. Well, there's going to be 60 to go. Nick, am I blinking? Yeah, you've been blanking a little bit. Get ready, going Yeah, uh, crap, Thunderstorm just blew it out. Blew some stuff out a couple weeks ago. I gotta still fix things. Yeah, I'm learning about his wheelies, sounds like. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this easy. I don't need to be rocketing around people or anything. Green flag. Green flag. Outside. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Let's try to stay out of, out of a wreck if there's another one. Speaking of, something's happening up there. Inside. Point yeah, one. Okay. Stay high. Change the car on the low that. side. Clear. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's Jim in front of me. <laughs> Just remembered. Car outside. That's cold. Still there, hold your line. Keep low. Outside, clear. Oh, damn. Aims is for position. Top 10 still, at least. Spin again. I 
bet my rear tires are pretty messed up after sliding, though. You've just done at 22.5. The gap behind has increased to 0.9. So if we just get 10th, that's perfectly fine. That's still better than I thought I would do here entering the race today. Top 10, so... I remember that. I'll see him pretty single file up ahead. Hopefully no more wrecks. Tenth position. And a couple different lines here, see what works. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he's spinning. Go high. The yellow flag is out. Line up, single file. Deep road is well. closed. Catch the 16 car. Pass the paid car. Catch the 16 car. Oh, that's really stupid. Know exactly how it feels. Uh, two times now, but that one was entry at three. It's closed. Well, Line up single file behind car number 94. Looks a lot like what I was doing. It's spinning out, so. Right, we'll right. come get our last set of tires. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Interesting, not everybody coming in. I'm coming in. Look out for the pit speed limit. Need to stop again to get to the end. Pit box in ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. Optional, I'm not gonna take it. 94, 94, 98, 98 on the left. So we'll get some of the optional done at least. Okay, go. That's it for time. Make them last the rest of the race. And I'll get out ahead of us just barely. So this is going to be interesting. We're out of tires, but we can go to the end. I do think that was the right move. Pretty much the end of the... Uh, near the end of the uh, lead lap anyway. Now we'll have a tire advantage. If it goes green to the end, we're in great shape. And uh, even if we do get a late restart, that's going to be a tough call for them to lose the track position they have. I feel like I don't deserve to be even in the running for this race, but just gotta shake it off and keep moving. If it were a real race, I wouldn't be just racing for myself. I'd be racing for, you know, the team and everything. <laughs> All the guys in the shop who work so hard, gotta, so I would have to put my own feelings aside and get the best result I can for the team. Guess what I'll try to do here. 
Obviously not at the expense of anyone else. I'm not going to go out and be dangerous. Any more dangerous than I've already been. And we'll see what we can do. It looks like we're going to be on the outside. Should be preferable, I think. I have fresh tires. It's our open. Get very, very interesting. One lap to green. You're on the outside in time, get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. Lots of different tire strategies that have kind of gone on up here. We got guys on older tires up front. And we were guys a couple slots back. I know Nick took tires. Is he the leader of the tire takers? Perhaps. About to go green. Quite like sure. He's got a good looking truck this week too. Can't see a darn good thing. Oh my gosh. Let's get loose in front of me. Let's get the wall in front of me. Alright, well. I said I did not end up being the place to be. I overdrove it massively. Missed my braking zone. Get it together, please. Me. And a yellow. Pit road is closed right now. Pace car is out. Hmm. Single file behind car number 94. Pace car is out. Pit's It's just been uh, restart after restart now. I feel like it's my fault. I tried to follow here on the outside, Ian, and I got way too aggressive, and nobody hit. At least I didn't hit anybody. Well, we'll be on the inside this time. We got some uh, takers now. spots. Don't feel like we use those tires either, so let's track position that I think should stick. Car 67 got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the seventh, I think. We hadn't passed Cabe yet when we got to the line. Q bars lighting up, which is just fantastic. Are open. So it should show seventh now. Yes, and we'll be on the inside. We'll see if that works out better. You would think you would want to be on the high side because that's where the dominant line is, but I guess it's kind of more the middle line, really, right? Got so stacked up on the high side last time. Of course, it didn't help the truck get the wall. I don't know, man. I just need to make it to the end of this one and not try to do too much. Trying to do too much earlier is what ended me. Ended up with me spinning. I tend to think that I can catch a, a truck a car if it gets loose but that time when it got loose just on the completely flat part of the track there was just nothing it felt like I was just on pure ice and it was trying to counter steer it just had no effect at all it's crazy at least we didn't cause a huge pile up I think uh Maybe, maybe it was Scott that got a tiny piece of us. Hopefully that didn't affect him too much. I got about 20 seconds of damage, as you saw. One 
One to go. Next time by. Line up on the inner side. Let's see what happens. Hopefully the inside lane gets a good jump. Hopefully we don't rear end anybody. About to go green. Stay focused. The pace car is off. Be ready. See it all. Get loose down there, it looks like. We're quickest at the moment. Outside. Outside, clear. Inside, this is tough, man. Ooh, door tap. So close racing. You've just done a twenty two point I think Scott got the wall. This thing's getting so loose, man. I'm just overdriving, I think, but... I don't know, maybe I did something to the handling by damaging the rear end of it? Car inside. Still inside. Clear. He did what he had to do. Came in the wall. Still gets a bunch of momentum though. Just a baby tap. Too wide in front of him. 
he gonna try three wide? I know he's uh, wanting to get by ASAP. moment. Internet's blinking out as usual. Ugh. So loose. That last lock was at 6 I had to get to his outside, not happening though. That was at 22.9. I really can't even talk right now. I'm focusing so hard. Plenty to go coming to the line. Nick's right behind the leader up there. Who is the leader? I don't know. Ryan Carlisle. It might even be Doran up there. Quite the battle. I believe how intense this is. Don't know if I can make up any more positions here. Your last lap time was at Speedy Race. Right. Say that and then I get assigned somebody. There, I'm not right. planning to, but it happened. Outside is clear. Give a little bargain for you here. It's better for a restart to be poor. on that high line. I think the highest line has really come in later in the race compared to that middle line I was taking early. It's so risky though to get that close to the wall. the wall a little bit but he's okay
six if I finish here that's just fine seeing if I can get anything more but it's not looking like passing is gonna be an easy task still fighting for the lead up there Try and hold them off so far. Ten to go. Ten to go. This time by. James lap car down there. What is he doing? Me real close. Time was that lap was at twenty three point one. Okay, Colton, your lap time's pretty consistent. I swear they're going to hit the wall up there. They're so close to the wall. Ripped out of the corner. Tried to look to the inside there, but he kind of held me off. You've just done a twenty-three point two. Yeah, I can barely control this thing. Getting near the end of this thing. I don't know if I have anything for him, but I've been giving it my best. Two to go. Two to go. That was a twenty-three point one. Again. Okay, Colton. We've gone out on track limits. Keep it outside. The lights. White flag. Stay smooth. Clear outside. Oh shoot, man. I'm so bad at these tracks. Sorry, Jim. Well, we lose a couple spots. Begin there. Really waited until the last lap to do it, of course. Oh. 
P8. Okay. Ryan, hell of a job defending right there. Nick was on hell of a job. It's over. Incredible. Great job. You did really well. Yeah, probably uh, deserve the bumper once or twice. Uh. Let's get off the track. P8. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I said, you know, I, I would make it fun, so I was like, I don't know how what's going to go on. But Dylan, I was like waiting for you to make a mistake. I'm like, he's got to soon, right? He's got to. And then, and I just could not time, hold on to that thing. 87, 86 that time. Oh my gosh, my hands hurt. I can't believe I got on the right rear. I guess it probably happened when I slid is what happened. That was so tough. I guess I should consider myself lucky that I didn't crash it. Man. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Ooh, I just gotta catch my breath, because that was so difficult. We'll go ahead and take a look at what happened out here, including my... my troubles. Get the camera all looking right. Sure, I had a couple of dumb moments that are going to show up on here. On lap two, Ian's in the wall. There's going to be so many wall hits. Maybe we won't be able to see this. Jim having a, a bit of a tough time. That didn't cause a caution, though. He's going to be blinking for a while as well. Who gets the wall again? We'll try to move ahead a little quicker if we see guys that are typically blinking and stuff. Here's your first wreck. Looks like maybe Michael got into the wall and uh, just kind of bounced off of it. Oh, wow. What you doing here? Yeah, I am. What's up? On lap uh, 173. Uh, yeah, I apologize. 173, was that uh, the close call on the clear? Yeah. It probably should have net coded and my spotter dug was like outside. Out. Okay, I guess that worked. <laughs> no worries. You, I figured you just did what you had to do. It was close, but uh, I mean, you made it. We made it. <laughs> I was like, I got to go, but no, that was a lot of fun. Then when hell was up for so damn long, I gave up at the end. I was like, whatever. I'm just going to give it a last team and the last two, but no, all in all, wasn't too bad. That was a lot of fun. You were damn quick. Earlier in the race, you were a lot faster than me, Colton. I was just holding you up there. We were just enough speed where I could kind of have the line, but you were quicker. I don't know how. I'm usually terrible at these tracks, and I found out, I found a way to be terrible later. I spun pretty much twice. One time fully, and then late race, like one lap to go, I half spun again. These places are tough, man. These high line dominant short tracks. Oh, yeah. Erwin knows a lot of fun because even like the grass works, but like these, oh, it's so hard to pass, but it, it was fun. So when I was third, I'm like, I don't know if I should pin or not. I knew Nick was on new tires, but I didn't think I could do it unless I was leading, kind of what Ryan did. But I was like, damn, let's just try it and have some fun. But. Hello. Yeah, it was a good race, man. Good race. You too. Whew. So, I'm apologizing for the, the clear there. I didn't take it personally. I know it's hard to pass here, and getting that clear is just so important. 
So I totally understood the move. Ian gets it sideways. Doesn't hit anything though. Moving along, just a couple wall hits, Jim's doing wheelies. Is this my spin? Yeah. I tried to get it to the inside, got a little bit of a tap. Man, it just it broke on me and it's there's nothing I could do anymore. See it snaps right there, and then watch my wheel right here. I'm turned like all the way to the right. You can see my front tires. It just it doesn't matter. I tried to get out of the racing line. Um, thankfully, Scott's able to slow down a bit for me as I'm sliding. It just broke on me, man. There was no catching that thing. I wish it hadn't brought out a caution. I wish I just got to the bottom, but caution came out. And then I was worried about coming out of the pits correctly. I didn't get out in front of anybody, did I? Figured I gave room up there. Yeah. Kind of hard to tell. But then my spin causes more problems. James, who's on a great run. I'm sorry. Uh, like if we don't have to do that restart, that probably doesn't happen to him. Don't know why we're seeing knees. That's blinking. Ian sideways. Spins it around. Yeah. Pretty much what I did. Different part of the track and stuff, but I mean, you could see tons of people just spinning it. How loose the truck was. Loose, but like on entry, pretty tight. exactly what I felt right there that's pretty much the same part of the track I was a little bit lower when it happened to me but you get on that scene down there it's like there's no saving it I, I mean at least I wasn't the only one I guess you don't want it to see it to happen to, see it happen to anybody but at least I'm not alone bit of wall for Chad. This is late race. Oh no. Oh no, that's a big hit too. This was a uh, four position. I think they might be a lap down though. Yes, they are. And so this is white flag. I think James just came up a little bit. And then the two of them. Yeah, that that really stinks into the race that happens to him and then Ryan got the win well earned <sighs> I'm terrible 5x I'm so mad at myself man I think that's two two x's for out of control and then an off track at some point I guess is what that is not a great performance for me we still get eighth but it was not a great run kind of what I worried would happen coming to a track like this i just do not have very much success at places uh you know short tracks with that high line and everything we'll go we'll go look at my final spin i don't know somehow able to keep it heading the right direction and not completely butcher my run. It just snaps on me. And uh, Mat Matthias gets a uh, freebie from us. He's the first guy up to get by me, I think. And I gotta be really careful coming back. I don't want to hurt anybody else's race. It's my mistake. White flag. Gavin gonna try get around me. 
Thankfully, I don't spin out yet again, and I'm able to keep uh, P8. Man, it really stinks, though. I had a chance to get the uh, playoff points for Stage 1, but I got P2 after the caution, and then just fell from there. Went all downhill from there. You see Ryan gets the win. Nick, Cabe, Dylan, Scott, top five, and the rest here. And we'll go ahead and look at uh, the results page now. Let me set it up so that way you can view that. All right, should be able to see it now. Here it is. Cabe with the fastest lap. Here's us down here in 8th, 29 points, and this is all before stage points, don't forget. Not sure how much that matters. Um, what we're really going to be wanting to look at here after the results are the uh, playoff standings. Again, before the stage points are added, but maybe it'll give an idea of how things are looking. So I'm going to navigate to, uh, to that for you right quick. Is this even going to be useful information right now? Maybe. You can see the top 10 who are... Okay, I'll show you this then. There we go. So you can see the top 10 that are in the playoffs. Right here. Ryan down there. These are essentially your playoff points, I guess. So 13, 28, 32, 33, 45, 50. So we are P6. Things will switch around a little bit with uh, the stage points, but we're going to have to pick it up because, you know, we're not bleeding anymore since we didn't get any wins and hardly any playoff points during the whole regular season. So with the playoff grid kind of reset, this is where we are. Sixth place, and uh, we got to find our way into the next round of the playoffs. Thankfully, uh, you know, next race, Milwaukee Mile, I'm feeling a little bit better about that than I had uh, been feeling about IRP here tonight. And after that, we've got, uh, I don't even, I don't remember, what is it? <laughs> Um, we've got like a, it's either a mile and a half or a two mile track after that, so should be a little bit better for me. But for tonight, not my greatest showing, but at least we still pull off a P8 despite uh, all my efforts otherwise. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. Apologies to everybody in the race that had to be around me and how bad I was. Uh, especially as the race went on later in the race, kind of fell apart for me, but... We'll, uh, we'll move on to the next one, Milwaukee Mile, and then I looked it up, Kansas, next one, that's that mile and a half, I knew it was on the way, see what we can do with that one, so thanks again for watching, I'll see you next time.